The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, as I start this homily, this might be a little bit of a downer, but I don't have to tell you that life just isn't easy all the time. And for the majority of us, or some of us, it gets just downright hard. Making our way in the world and all that it entails can at sometimes seem a little bit overwhelming. Financial concerns, health concerns, families, employment, even relationships. You name it, whatever it is, whether they're big or small, they are challenging, but can be exhausting, burdening, and sometimes even crushing us. And that depends on their frequency and their severity. Life on this earth is simply not easy. Never has been since Adam and Eve and never will be. But here's the good news. Come to me all who labor and are burdened and I will give you rest. Those should be comforting and really uplifting words from Jesus in today's Gospel from Matthew. And on the surface, it may appear that Jesus is saying something along the lines of, come to me and your problems will go away. Come to me and you won't have to work so hard. Come to me and life will get much, much easier. But wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't anyone like that? But then, there is this next line in scripture that says, which adds a puzzling twist to the statement, I will give you rest. A twist to that statement. Take my yoke upon you. Now, I don't know about you, but when I hear the word yoke, I don't think of rest. I think of one thing and only one thing, work, backbreaking and hard work. The, I think of the oxen of old plowing the rocky fields for planting, or a team of Clydesdale's horses pulling the heavy wagon. So how is it possible that we can be at both at rest and laboring at the same time. Something just didn't add up. But think for a moment. A yoke is not what joins an animal to some implement or vehicle. It's what joins one animal to the animal next to it so that they can both share the burden and work together. 
And when animals are yoked together properly, perfectly, and Jesus would know about yokes because he was a carpenter, and I'm sure he made a few of those, the work gets done a little more easily and a little more comfortably and a little more efficiently and naturally. And so Jesus seems to be saying, don't try to go it alone. Don't try to face the difficulties of life all by yourself. Join yourself to me, and I will make it all the difference in the world. So what does yoking ourselves to Jesus mean for us? It means we join him in his attitude. We join ourselves to his priorities. We join ourselves to his mission and the mission of his church. It means we join ourselves to his journey. And it means we join ourselves into his way of seeing things. It even means that we join ourselves to his death. And therefore, to his life, his resurrection life, an incredible and beyond anything we can imagine, the joy and glory of heaven. And when we do that, when we unite ourselves to the Lord in a deep and lasting way, when we yoke ourselves to him in such a way that everything he is becomes everything we are, the entire way we experience life will change particularly the challenges, the difficulties, the sorrows, and the disappointments. We don't have to do all the pulling ourselves. You see, it's not that our problems will go away. Rather, when we are yoked to Jesus in a complete way, we will find ourselves able to live our lives in light of a profound truth. The truth that there is so much more to reality than what we can see. So much more to life than what exists on the surface. The burdens of life simply do not go away. They don't have the last say, they just don't. God has the last say. And Jesus wants us to know that there is so much more. When we yoke ourselves to him, the more becomes more evident to us. The world becomes more full of beauty, full of meaning, and full of possibility and opportunity. When we are filled with the Spirit of God, and therefore filled with life, it's a newness of life, a way of living and being that cannot be threatened by whatever challenges or disappointments may come our way. May each of us live in the spirit staying connected to Jesus. Even the greatest difficulties in life are no match for us when we let him share the pulley. Trust him, let him in, and you will know his peace and his power.